heightened concerns tonight about the risks of young athletes playing contact sports. The neurogenerative disease, CTE, may be caused by repetitive hits to the head even if there is no concussion. And as ABC 7's Liz Nagy reports, that gives parents even more evidence that their children may be at risk. Wipe out, take a hit, and bounce back up. That's long been the M.O. in contact sports. When I was growing up, there was not even a thought about, you know, oh, you're hurt, oh, you know, you're shaking up a little bit. Take a deep breath, get back out there. But a new study out of Boston University focusing on the brains of four deceased high school athletes show these small hits and bumps add up dangerously. This study shows that also, you don't have to have a concussion to have your brain injured. It shows that uh, all sports that have had impact had the potential to injure the brain. It's not just the force of the hit, researchers say, but the quantity. I, I firmly, I beg of you, I beg all parents to please don't let your children play football until high school. But football isn't the only focus. Some of these ice hockey players are just young teenagers, but the threat of serious brain injury has changed the way they play the game. Today, it's much more based on speed and skill. All sports have to work on taking head contact out as much as they can. In Evanston, Liz Nagy, ABC7 Eyewitness News.